I'm next to Atlanta, Georgia, Republican line. Uh, good morning, Greta. Good morning. Uh, yes, I was wondering, um, I listened to some of the AM talk radio shows, and, I mean, you've got Rush Lim Limbaugh, Laura Ingram. You've got all these people who, when a Democrat's in charge, they claim that the Democrats are just socially and morally inept. But when they are given a candidate, such as Mike Huckabee, who is not socially inept, he is wonderful uh, as a social uh, conservative and as a fiscal conservative. You can't get much more fiscal conservative than the fair tax. And for individuals on these talk radio shows and on Fox News who like the person that they've invested in, and it's more about their ego and what money they put into it instead of the best communicator and who can help the Republicans to win, I mean, it's really a shame and a sham. And I want to know where all my social conservatives are. And Mr. Anousis, why don't you answer that? Well, I think the social conservatives are very much uh, backing not only Mike Huckabee, but some of the other candidates. I mean, they're very active in this race, and that's probably one of the big debates on the Republican side. Uh, I think you have seen uh, Mike Huckabee have a tremendous appeal. That's why he won in, in uh, Iowa. Uh, he's doing well here. He's running third in Michigan. Uh, he's not only appealing to social conservatives, but to the cultural conservatives, to the economic conservatives on the fair tax and other issues. Uh, Governor Huckabee uh, is back here in Michigan right now, and, and uh, in fact, I'll see him this afternoon at one of his events. Uh, and I think he's doing a great job of being out there. He's a good communicator. He's a quick-witted guy. But, you know, look, this is a primary, so people are making a decision. Uh, they throw out different ideas. Different people have a different view of what it means to be a fiscal conservative. Um, some people think the fair tax is a great idea. Other people don't think it's such a good idea. So, you know, you've got to kind of respect one another's views and understand that we're not all going to agree on everything at the same time. Uh, be tolerant of one another as they don't agree with you. But in the end, I think if you take a look at Mike Huckabee, John McCain, uh, Mitt Romney, uh, we're heads, you know, head over shoulders uh, with respect to anything the Democrats have to offer in November. What is the percentage of uh, evangelical voters in Michigan? Well, it's pretty hard to say. I mean, the different exit polling shows that anywhere from 20 percent to as high as 40 percent. And I think, uh, you know, we have different types of voters. You've got uh, the Christian Reform, Dutch Reform on the west side that consider themselves evangelical Christians, but are very different than, say, the Baptists and the Protestants, uh, many of the Protestant sects on the east side and mid-Michigan. So uh, it's not a ubiquitous uh, voting uh, group. Uh, they, they, they vote on various issues and the person. Uh, but it's still a, it's a significant number here in Michigan, and, and they care and they're passionate about the issues that matter to them. And uh, but you know, based on what I've seen, they're splitting up between all the candidates right now, and, and we'll be voting for whoever they think is the strongest and the best candidate. Last phone call for Mr. News is Sheffield Lake, Ohio. Yes. Good morning, yep, caller. I'd, I'd like to uh, shift it back about the auto industry. I think that uh, where Michigan's hurting, and that how the Republicans are going to help them. I see most, I'm not generalizing, but I see most wealthy people, a lot of them drive foreign cars. I have two American cars in my driveway, and I'm seeing where, how the Republicans are going to help Michigan in this area. Thank you. Go ahead. Well, look, uh, yeah, I, I, first of all, I don't think, you know, I grew up in the auto industry. My father spent 32 years on the line as a skilled tradesman at the Fisher Body plant in Fort Street. Uh, I grew up in the city of Detroit uh, in a UAW family. I loaded trucks as a Teamster uh, growing up and, and paying my way through college. Uh, I think more of the Republican Party in Michigan are the kind of the Reagan Democrat Republicans working, coming from working class families, from uh, families who very much understand what the middle class is all about. I mean, that's where I come from. I think that what we need to do as, as Americans, as Republicans and Democrats, is go out there and let the market uh, play its way out. Uh, today I'm driving a Chrysler car. Uh, you know, before uh, I've driven all kinds of different cars, uh, but we basically go out and buy the car that we feel is is uh, the best one for our families at the time and and what fits. And um, you know, it's it's uh, it's going to be a competitive process out there. But American domestic automakers are making great cars, and I think that what we need to do is make sure that people understand the kinds of cars they have available to them. Uh, you know, one of the problems with raising cafe standards is one of the best-selling cars are the SUVs and the pickup trucks. 
Uh, I also have a Ford pickup truck. And uh, in order to meet some of these standards, they're going to force us to kind of cut back on some of the lines that Ford and GM and Chrysler now are being most competitive with, and that's the big truck industry. So we've got to be conscious that this is where the policy makes a difference. Look, we want free trade, but we want fair trade. We've got to watch out for currency manipulation. We've got to make sure the auto industry isn't crippled by unrealistic uh, cafe standards. We have to be practical with respect to the legacy costs. You know, the domestic auto industry has a lot of retirees out there. My parents were part of that group. My family grew up, uh, f you know, on the auto industry. So I think that that's where Republicans are going to be a help. We're going to understand how business works. We'll understand how the market works. And we'll be able to make Michigan companies and Michigan automakers more competitive. Saul Nusis, chairman of the Michigan Republican Party, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you for having me.